If you're thinking of picking up a bouquet or a bouquet for your beloved this Valentine's Day, why not look local? Forget the cliched long-stemmed red roses and give the local blooms some love. Here to share some suggestions as well as some tips and tricks to keep them lasting long way past their expiry date is our favorite farmer florist, Antonio Valente. Welcome. Yeah, and Marie. And an early happy Valentine's Day to you. Thank you very much. Look at you Me hiding too. in behind the, the flowers yeah. there. Yeah. All right, you are all about spreading the love, buying local blooms. Why yes. not the you know big red roses? Why buy local? Okay, let's just establish the fact that, first of all, long-stemmed red roses are just not in season in Canada at this time of the year. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I always encourage people to choose, uh, you know, something locally grown. Okay, and three major reasons for that. First of all, Local flowers are fresher, so they're gonna last longer for you. Oh, okay. Okay. Uh, secondly, you're supporting, um, you know, you're supporting Canadian farms, Canadian farmers. We like that. Is, such as myself. <laughs> um, and then lastly, the other thing is, and perhaps most importantly, imported flowers are coming to Canada from South America. They need to make that long trek, and I can't tell you the amounts of chemicals that are actually applied to those flowers. Hmm. Those chemicals are, chemicals are so detrimental to our environment, and those chemicals are just not present in local flowers. All right, so if you want to go row, you want to skip the traditional long-stemmed uh, roses, what are your local recommendations? You have a beautiful selection for us here. Yeah, yeah, so these are some of my favorites. Um, these are anemones right here. The purple ones, they're the, anemones? Yeah. The purple I love ones, them. They anemones. look like porcelain. They yeah. almost look real. Yeah, they're so pretty. They're one of my favorites at this time of the year. Uh, next to those, we have... Now, those look like carnations to me. No, no, they're actually uh, lisianthus. Lisianthus. Yeah, aren't they super pretty? I think they kind of look like roses a bit, no? Oh, yeah, I could see that. Yeah, a little bit. Rosy but, carnations. Yeah, next to those, <laughs> then we have uh, some tulips, but those are actually double tulips. These are beautiful. Yeah, you'll the have to go colors. around after that and smell them. The scent is amazing off of oh, them. I'm going to take one out now. I'm not going to wait. And then these last ones, these are some of my favorite flowers. Now, I never know how to pronounce it. I always say roncules, but there is a correct way to say it. Uh, ranunculus. Ranunculus. Yeah. Or like ranunx. ridiculous. Yeah. And, yeah, yeah, yeah. What was the lingo you just used? Ranunx. Ranunx. Those yeah. in the know, that's what and, we call and it. And in the industry, we'll just call them ranunx for short. Oh, these are, they're almost like a sweet pea. And then, of course, we do have roses also. They're just not the long stemmed roses. They're also called um, either spray roses or sweetheart roses. No, I sometimes call them tea roses. Is that wrong? Uh, yeah, that's, sorry, that's wrong. Okay, well, this is why you're here. <laughs> I need your expert opinion. So, sorry, these are called sweetheart roses? Sweetheart or spray roses, and these are coming right out of Niagara. And, and these will last longer than the traditional ones. Yeah, yeah, totally. And then lastly, we also have a cymbidium orchid. Okay. I, think, I think sometimes we tend to think that the tropicals, we don't really get them here in, uh, right. in Canada, but that's also from a grower out in Niagara. Okay, now, the, one of the reasons that people order the, you know, bouquet or bouquet, Ben, now he's messed me up, I don't know which one to say, uh, is because it's easy. You can go to the yeah. store, you can grab 12, it looks nice, it's red for Valentine's Day. If we want to buy local, take your advice. Can you show us how to arrange something that yeah, would be for sure. you know, yeah. worthy of the love of someone? Absolutely. Let's do that. Okay, we're going to work with the Renunx because they are my absolute favorite. Mm -hmm. They're so pretty. And how long will these last? Oh, you'll get a good week and a half out of Renunx. Oh, that's great. Yeah, they're super long lasting. Okay, let's, while we're, while we're cutting and displaying, I want to also do some tips for people. You start. Okay, there you go. I'm going to give you a, um, a pair of scissors. Pair of scissors also. Now, a lot of people know to cut these on an angle. Yes, that's but right. But why is that important? Okay, so that's right. You want to cut them on an angle as opposed to straight on. Cutting on an angle, actually, oh, and my cutting on. You know, that's good. Okay, cutting on an angle actually increases the surface area that you're exposing there, ah. which actually uh, exposes more of the stem's vascular system and therefore um, uh, the sun is actually able to absorb more water. Okay, what about temperature of the water? Temperature of the water, um, just room temperature is best. Okay, so not cold or not too warm. Yeah, the other thing is too, you absolutely have to start with a clean vase. Okay, and okay. clean not just like rinsed out with, with water? No, you're gonna wanna use some water and bleach. Because, bleach? Yes, bleach. You're gonna wanna kill any of the bacteria that could possibly have been in the vase from the last time you had flowers in there. Okay. And that will significantly shorten the vase life of your flowers. Okay, let's put some of these in here. Okay. We just have, you know, just seconds left. Oh, really? Okay. Uh, another tip that I... Or just this. Happy yeah. Valentine's Day. No, <laughs> No, 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 keep okay, going. No, we're good, okay, we're good. Okay. We're good. No, I just want to point out the fact, you, I don't know if the camera can pick this up, but this is another little florist tip. I've taken some tape ah. and I've made a grid on the top, so that'll help you arrange your flowers more tastefully. There's the clear tape. It doesn't take long, and okay. it's going to do what you need it to do, which is be able to place these yeah. beautifully. If you can, keep your flowers in a cool spot. Keep them away from a source of heat, like a heat register or a sunny window. And this is my favorite tip. Don't keep them next to fresh fruit. Yes, don't keep your flowers next to a bowl of fresh fruit. Fresh fruit uh, emits gases that will also you know, ripen your flowers, and they actually won't last as long. 
keep them apart. Yes. Yeah. I love it. Antonio, this is so much fun. Listen, I'm going to let you do a little bit of arranging while we throw it okay, a commercial yeah, break. Okay, for sure. All of these tips, of course, are on our website. We're going to be back in just two minutes. Don't go away.